Hi guys, let's solve uh, this complex number question, right? So it says a value of theta for which, so you have to solve or you have to find the value of theta for which 2 plus 3i sine theta over 1 minus 2i sine theta is purely imaginary. So purely imaginary means the real value of the complex number is 0, all right, is any of these answers all right so one easy way is you substitute the value of theta that is given in here and see which value ends up giving you a real number only all the imaginary numbers are cancelled out or we are going to solve it in case you do not have the options given to you so how are you going to solve that question so let's get started so we are going to write the equation first 3i sine theta over 1 minus 2i sine theta right so we need to solve this or we need to what you can say is rationalize the denominator first so we'll multiply and divide with the conjugate so that is 1 plus 2i sine theta over 1 plus 2i sine theta now we are going to expand the brackets so 2 times those is going to give us 2 plus 4i sine theta plus 3i sine theta plus 2 times 3 is 6i squared sine squared theta over in the denominator it's going to be a minus b a plus b so a squared minus b squared so 2i sine theta whole square right so next, let's go ahead and simplify more. So 2 plus, this is going to become 7i sine theta. i squared is going to be minus 1, right? So this is going to become minus 6 sine square theta, right? In the denominator, we will have 1. Now, 2 squared is going to become 4. I'm not writing a plus and minus here, just in case, because this is an i squared that's going to change the sign. So, i squared is going to become minus 1. We have a minus outside, so that's going to become plus, right, and sine squared theta, right? Now, let's separate the real and imaginary value separate, because we know the real value is going to be 0. So, let's separate that from this fraction. So 2 is a real value and this last bit here is also a real value. So minus 6 sine square theta, there's no i there, over 1 plus 4 sine square theta plus 7i sine theta over the denominator remains same. All right, now we know that the real value of z is 0, therefore... 2 minus 6 sine square theta over 1 plus 4 sine square theta is equals to 0. All right, so now we need to solve that. We'll bring the denominator to the other side. I'm just going to solve it on this side. So it's going to be 2 minus 6 sine square theta is equals to 1 plus 4 sine square theta times zero all right so when it becomes times zero everything is gone so we are left with two minus six sine square theta is equals to zero six sine square theta or minus six sine square theta is minus two sine square theta is equals to minus two over minus six so sine theta is equals to that is going to be one over three and root of one over three so theta will be equals to sine inverse now you have to just see which of the option is it because when you are doing square root sometimes we add like most of the times we add plus and minus but in the answer does they show us plus and minus is the thing so it's going to be plus and minus so plus and minus root three one over root one over three or one over root three when you simplify that let me write 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3. So theta has a possibility of being sine inverse 1 over root 3 or 
sine inverse 1 over minus root 3. All right, so any of these two is the answer. You will see which of the option is valid in the question. So if we go up, it's that one, D1. So D is the answer. So answer is equal to D. All right, I hope this makes sense. Don't forget to subscribe for more such questions. Have a good day.